Hello Sparkles, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Kerbal Space Program. I'm Kerbal Failure today, yeah, why not? Uh, over there you can see the debris left over from the Bumpson uh, X2A4, uh, which is it's just lying around the place. Doesn't, doesn't really matter to me anymore now. Uh, let's go over to Astronaut Complex. Uh, we've got Bob and Valentina are both available for the, uh, for the next mission there. And that's that's good. That's that's what we want. We're not hiring anybody new until we are all out of our uh, our initial lineup. Uh, let's get over to the vehicle assembly building. We haven't got any science to do anything else with right now. So uh, so here it is. Is the uh, the X two A four that we've got going on there. Now I think I possibly could have made it out of that last one if I'd have throttled up after initial separation. But you can't avoid the fact that the problem. Was uh, was a lack of stability, uh, as always. It was a lack of stability. Once again, a lack of stability caused us to lose a pilot. Just wang another another, another fuel pod on there, because you know that'll make a difference. Slit, stick that one on there. Give me another coupler. No coupler. That's that one. Right. S slap that on the bottom of there. Now then. Bring the uh, bring the fins. No, leave the fins where they are. If not, moving them up a little further. No, we think that will be fine. I should just I should just test flight this. I should just test flight this. You're not wrong. Right? Can we take the uh, can we take the whatnot off the bottom? No, just refit the whole the whole job. All right, right. We're going to test flight this. I don't think it's going to give us any trouble. I think uh, I think this one we've we've got a fighting chance of this one actually going all right uh, to the launch pad. Um, but what I want to see is whether this, in isolation, is stable. By stable, I mean I don't have to touch the controls because the last thing you want is me touching the controls at all. Where is the auto stabilization? You know what? I'm going to hit escape and look at the controls and see if there's a button that does it. No, apparently there was absolutely uh, no indication. It, it doesn't even let you check the buttons uh, from that area. What's this? Toggle Brakes Action Group. Oh, hello. Toggle Gear Action Group. Toggle Light Action Group. Oh, yeah. Turn the lights on. That's going to help. Uh, I find it will most, most certainly be able to learn a little bit more by doing that. Brakes? No. Gear? No. All right. Well, let's, let's poke things a little bit further. Abort. Fun. Um, no. Toggle RC, RC, this, this, these. It's the SAS and the RCS. The SAS is stability assist. RCS is systems. Um, so, uh, right. Okay, good. All right. Uh, let's, I think, SAS is the one that uses the little thrusters in your nose cone to try and rectify the situation. You know what? Stick them both on. Uh, Blast off. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Throttle up. Now, we will go with a moderate amount of throttle here. Uh, now, with our stabilization on, we should be we should be quite positive. Now, what I'm going to look at, because this one's not going to get out of control, is what our surface speed, or surface relative speed here, what it gets up to. Uh, because if we get this, uh, uh, we, we want to be able to measure this against something that is a hybrid, uh, solid, liquid booster combo rocket sort of deal. Uh, we've got about a fifth of a tank left. If we ease the throttle back, that'll last a bit longer, and we're still accelerating. So throttle back a bit more. No, no, no longer accelerating. We want to keep going faster. There we go. I think we've just broken our record. There we go. We're through 20,000 now. Uh, let's... Uh, no, slowing down again. That's it. Keep going faster. There you go. All of this off a liquid booster. We're just about to run out of fuel. Well, it's amazing what uh, pressing the buttons will do for you. Uh, let's get shot of that bit. Thank you very much. You've been very helpful. Uh, right, now, where's my fuel chart here? Uh, no, the monopropellant we've got loads. Electrical charge we've used a smidge, but that's purely down to uh, uh, down to having um, 
uh, jettisoned the item there. I think we needed the button press needed a click. Uh, but we've done it. We've uh, we've made it out right to the edge of the atmosphere. We are not quite out of atmosphere yet, uh, but we're still we're still doing a fair shake of speed. So we could break clear. I think we have broken clear. You know. Well, that's great, Valentina. Congratulations. Uh, you have uh, you've done the business. You have uh, you've broken free into the uh, the great open sky there and uh, and how does that feel ruddy terrifying boss well it, it probably should do anyway she's uh, she's in here looking at all of the things you've got a handle there you can play with if you uh, feel the need to do so that's uh, that's all good there that's, uh, that's all that's all that's all jolly, jolly charming right get no that's not what I wanted I want, I just want to get back outside again it's a button I want to... I've, I've done it before. Let's see. Okay. For camera. Right, we are now... What are we doing now? Oh, we're in orbit. Well, that's, just, that's dramatic. Uh, coming back down now. That's fine. We'll turn off the uh, the stabilisation. We'll let, uh, we'll let the, the, the beast go with the flow. Uh, we'll be up here for a bit. But uh, yes, you probably can see your house from here. And that's that's nice too. Ah, oh, well, good. Well, I I would imagine we're setting a few records at this stage. That's that's pretty good. Uh, should we point ourselves just slight? Whoa, hey, oh, no, like that, and then cancel it. Like that, and then and then cancel. Look, every rocket I've ever seen coming into land uh, in movies. Oh, you don't know anything, do you? No, you don't. Okay, I've only just seen it in moves. They always come in at like an angle like that, so that the uh, the ceramic shielding can really uh, can really do its thing. Uh, there we go. We've got the yellow what's it there, which is important for something, and then you've got the blue one there, which is very helpful in some room. Valentina's having a terrific time. Now I think if we can get just a little bit higher, uh, we'll chance an EVA uh, on the next one. Uh, so, and whoever it is that volunteers for that flight, good luck to them, because uh, <laughs> because that's gonna it's gonna end up in trouble. Now, where is the uh, make it all go a bit faster? I know, I know, I'm not gonna push the button. I just want to know where it is for future reference, so I don't have to sit through this. Uh, turn this, turn on, turn the lights off. There you go. That's, you want to enjoy the the flames as they start ripping around the edge of this as we hit the atmosphere, uh, which we'll start doing presently. The atmosphere's already slowing us down some. That's good. Prepare for some chop. Uh, you're going you're gonna to be, uh, you're gonna be heating up nicely. Spam, as they say, in a can. Direct connection to Space Center. Can't transmit data. Yes, yeah, so there's my Wi-Fi signal. Full crew control. Best not to press that button. Uh, time warp. There it is. Okay, thank you. So if we uh, if we two times time here, yeah that's good. Except stop stop two times into time. It's almost parachute moment. Flipping like, don't kill another one when you've just done really well. Actually, we're not uh, we didn't get much flame action coming off here, which is unusual. Evidently, we were not doing enough speed. Well, we just went straight up and came straight back down again. So uh, oh, hold on, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was forgot to deploy the shoot. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be fine, uh, pickle. Don't well, don't you worry about it. Uh, we're bringing you in, nice and gentle. Right, gently putting it down on the deck. Five meters a second is is pretty quick, you know. I mean that's that's, that's not to be sniffed at. Uh, right, let's uh, let's recover the old vessel. I don't think we're going to get a massive amount of science, but you never know. We did get it up into uh, into a post-atmosphere environment, and it was worth nothing. All right, fine. All right, but we got all, we got quite a few bits back, which is nice. And uh, and Valentina didn't gain any XP. Good, good, good. Good, that was entirely worth it. I'm, I'm hoping we got a few records out of that. I mean, it certainly felt higher than anything else we've accomplished previously. So what we do know is the little ship that could here could. 
So if we now give that, uh, yeah, I'm going back to the big lad. We, uh, we'll go for the big lad for the Mark V, and, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, I should have given this one its own specific code name, but, uh, no, we, we didn't, so, uh, there's that. Right. Yeah, I know, we're, we're back to, uh, back to safety protocols off. There you go. That's the stuff. In fact, this is actually the Mark IV. But what we're going to do is we're going to whip this off aside. There you go. Give me some new science. We've got new science here. There we go. The thermometer. Right. We'll stick that one. Ooh, I don't know. There. Just, just below that. No, no, not below the grab handle. They might need that. Especially if you feel confident enough to make one of these idiots EVA. There we go. Right, we've stuck a little thermometer on the side, so hopefully we get a bit of science out of that. Uh, that definitely qualifies this as a Mark V. The thermometer is the is the Mark V telltale there. Right, have we... Uh, are we queued? Yes. Yes. That's good. Remember to throttle up, but not too much. Uh, and that. And this. Please, there, Mr. Booster, do not wreck this for all of us. Right, I feel I feel golden and confident, and uh, and almost certain that uh, that this isn't going to work. I I think we might well encounter similar problems to those which we suffered before. Let's turn the things on. Right, I'm not proud. I'll turn the things on. I don't need full control over this. I would be using my joystick about now, incidentally, uh, were it not for the fact that uh, it's packed in a cardboard box ready for me to move house. Right, blast off in five, four, three, two, one. Actually blasting off on time this time. Okay, we're away. Now then, what did we get up to last time? 700 meters per second. Uh, in our surface relative speed ratio booster malarkey palaver uh, is what we what we managed to get to last time now if this one can get us up uh, a good distance then it means that our fuel will undoubtedly help us go a little further and faster uh, where are we up to now 400 that's not bad solid fuel's almost done okay that's good because when the solid fuel is done I will feel significantly more confident in uh, in the survival prospects of the crew here well you know what it worked ditch it there you go and gently throttle up gently throttle up uh, all right fire the engine there you go now we just want to uh, use enough engine to keep us accelerating we don't need to accelerate that hard Although, you know what, a bit, a bit faster, there you go, is, uh, is probably wise at this stage. Uh, now, last time we, we clocked over uh, 60,000 metres up, and right now I see no reason why we can't do at least that this time. We're over 800 metres a second now, so I think we're, we are well and truly uh, up into space. All right, now then. How much more of this do you need uh, in order to uh, to be able to continue going crispy? Because I want to save the fuel at this point. There you go. No, no, no. Keep going faster. Right about there. That's good. Because we need a bit of orbital speed in order to make this, uh, this, I don't know, something. We've got half a tank left. I'm just making sure that we've got a little bit so we can come back again. Right, there you are. That's it. Ease it off. Right, good. We're uh, we're up and away and and so forth. Now, if we uh, if we gently, and and here we're we're now entering something that that I'm I'm not uh, I'm not convinced is necessarily going to pan out for the best. If we now start moving ourselves outwards a little, there you go, just a just a smidge that way. That we're going to get an interesting landing area. You see, yes, that's the that's the hope here. I don't know where exactly we're going, but we are. Right, ease that back down. Right, Valentina, how do you feel about an EVA? Cannot disembark while off of Kerbin surface. Astronaut complex upgrade required. Oh. Well, that's, that's rubbish. Right, well, in which case, new plan. Throttle up. Right. Give it the absolute tonto. Uh, give it, a, give it the, 
the majesty of of rock, uh, the ministry of roll. Let's uh, let's get up a good height and then uh, and then see you about going this way a bit, and then see what happens. I, I've not really got a plan. Don't know if you could tell that or not, but uh, but I'm not. Right, get shot of that bit. We're in the pod. We're doing a we're doing a fair lick of speed. There's uh, there's Cape Kerbal down there. Uh, there's some space detritus for someone else to bump into later. You know what? All this uh, all this stabilization business, they should have called it what it is. Easy mode. Easy mode is what it is. Right, let's uh, let's up the speed here and uh, and see where we get to. Let's keep going. Yeah, cuz uh, cuz Valentine is going to spend some time up here. Uh, our orbital speed isn't bad. Yeah, okay, keep going. Right, coming in. Oh, gently. Gently. I guess uh, I guess our uh, our flight is over. We're coming back in, but we have we've covered some distance. Uh, I could have covered more. There's the uh, the X2 AV, uh, the oh, sorry the X2 A5 debris field there going back in. We're down to sixty odd thousand. Uh, let's double the speed while we just uh, descend gently into the mountains uh, that I assume is the Urals. Uh, there you go. Oh, definite fire coming off it now. There you go. Gently, gently. Uh, why why have we got a health bar here? What's... Oh! No, that's okay. That's That was planned. Was it? Yeah. Where's the thermometer? Is it still attached? Because this it's going to come up with some riveting data off the back of that. But that was that was jolly exciting, wasn't it? Wasn't, it, wasn't that... Uh, uh, I thought we might have lost Valentina there for a moment, but uh, we didn't. She's, uh, she's still there, look. Seemingly, uh, seemingly quite placid about the situation, which is uh, which is which is good, good tarts there. Well, unless I fluff the uh, unless I fluff the shoot deployment, we're going to make it out of this one. So uh, so that's all good. We are at one times, aren't we? Yeah, there we are. Good. Yeah, we're coming in. We're going to land in the forest. Uh, it's nothing that a Sikorsky couldn't handle to come pick us up afterwards. We are going at a fair tilt, however. So I'm going to deploy the shoot at 2k. Actually, we're, no! That's above sea level! You were in the mountains! Oops. Oh! Ah! We realised that just a little too late. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, crumbs. Um... Well, that's that's a real shame. That is, <laughs> you're above the mountains. Mountains are not not at the same altitude, there, Chiger. Um, uh, are we done here? Yeah, I rather. Oh no, there, there we go. That's, that's, that's very unfortunate. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, Valentina, Valentina didn't make it. Oh, you surprised me. Oh, uh, that means we didn't get any science. We did break a record, though. We got high speed, which is nice. High speed over land. Uh, distance covered. Total distance covered. We almost covered a million meters. Most G-force endured. I mean, there's, there's a lot to take away from that that's semi-positive, other than the fact that we lost another one. Ah, uh, knickers. Oh, well, I've been Colonel Failure, and... Uh, this has been Colonel for Space Program, and uh, we've done it again, everybody. Yeah, once, once more onto the un, onto the the uh, the funeral, dear friends, and uh, that was that was all good. Are we downhearted? Yes, maybe maybe ever so slightly. I'll be back again soon with uh, with the next one, and uh, and this time, don't know, don't know what we're going to do this time. I think we might try. An even bigger rocket. Oh, now that we've got stabilization sorted, maybe we can put something silly together. Yeah, let's see how far we can go. Anyway, uh, this series exists because you're brilliant. Uh, I'll be back soon with another one of the same. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.